Now we get to the exciting bit. Well, it is for me, probably <laughs> some people look and say, what the... So I, don't, I can't decide whether I'm a, uh, I've got an artistic spirit or I'm just a hoarder. So the story is that um, I heard in the grapevine that yeah, a couple of farms had been amalgamated um, out of town here. And uh, so I got to talking to the, the new owners and that. And, and they said, oh, you know, come and have a look. You know, there's a lot of stuff we've got to get rid of. So I end up going down to a farm and there's all this old machinery just sitting around the shed. The, the guy used to get old broken bits of you know, machinery, stack them, strip them, you know, rebuild bits and pieces. So the farm's been sold. He has to get out. Um, so, yeah. Turns out that he's taken all the easy stuff, you know, like all the old smaller bits of machinery, straight to the scrap. He sold it for pretty scrap metal. Had to drive about a hundred kilometres on his uh, truck straight down to the crusher. And I was just about devastated. But so all the big pieces were left behind, right? So I'm negotiating with him, and uh, I end up buying quite a few pieces. I haven't got any videos of it, so I might be able to try and make a slideshow or something. Or next time I go there, I'll I'll take a video and post that. So. Yeah, we got to talking and yeah, he was a typical farmer, you know, he wasn't giving anything away. But I reckon I got some pretty good deals, as I'll, I'll show you later. Um, so, the farm next door had also been sold, so it's all amalgamated. So, the farm next door, they've already finished, they're gone. So, I had to go and do a couple of things around there. And they, they said, help yourself to whatever you, you know, everything's going to go in the tip. So they got an old farm tip, and this is what I found. All right, so I'll just show you the little pile that I uh, picked up from the, the old farm tip. Um, yeah, don't know how many years of uh, stuff. And they said, oh, it's just rubbish, there's nothing there. So I just had a quick look, and I couldn't believe what I was looking at so I've been back like three times now and this was just the stuff that I picked the other day but I'll give you a view of exactly what we found so yeah this is just the stuff from the other day yeah um, just this is all just lying on in in the trash just it was under bits of metal and it was covered in leaves and so, but for artistic purposes, you know, like, you know, look at that nice long spring tools. I don't know if you can see it. it. Oh, where is it? Look at that. An old plane just buried under all of this stuff. It's criminal. But anyway, hopefully I can repurpose. Yeah, of course it's never used again, but I, hopefully I can make a something out of it. Okay, back to the wide view. Stuff. Lots of stuff. All of the, you know, like, you can see how big that one is. But then you've got, you know, smaller ones. And there's some tiny ones. Chains. Rod. I've just thrown a few things of the, the tools, old rusty tools, cogs, stuff. Here's an old windmill um, base. I'm sure I could repurpose this to something. You know, like that is about six foot long, it's probably seven foot long. Um, hooks. Stuff. And check this out. Your my eyes are not going to believe what this is. Have a look at that. 
it's an old boot scraper and when I found it it was buried and all I saw was just this little thing sticking out of the ground and I thought it was yeah you know, some more of these things and I just started digging it and it was you know dig 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 and that's what popped out of the ground can you believe that blacksmith made you can see it's yeah it's all hammered and you know so and and look at the work for just for a boot scraper have a look at how much work these guys put into making this thing just for a normal everyday utilitarian thing it, when that popped out it was like I thought I'd win a lotto what do you reckon oh this battery's going flat I'm gonna have to change it over before it goes completely flat this is in the tip oh, it's completely buggered but what a fantastic piece look at this an old copper water heater copper so that you know look look that's probably four foot long two foot round it's completely buggered but copper the old milk jug stuff Alrighty, that'll do for now.